Shark. Yeah, I just wanted to show everybody uh, what happens after about seven inches of rain on grass that I really need to be getting to cut, uh, getting to to cut. But uh, I, I, I'm not gonna walk out there. But you can see it; it lays down. And this stuff, uh, that stuff right here. Man, I'm gonna get wet if I go out there. right here I mean look how tall that is yeah I was gonna say it didn't look really that impressive when you were first stepping out in it oh it's laying over right how wet is it oh it's oh you mean the ground yeah like soupy wet yeah yeah it's soupy wet but you can see anyway It's only been growing three weeks since um, this got fertilized on the 5th, I think it, we said. So whatever today is, I don't know, the 20... What you got there? I didn't pull all of it off, but I just wanted to let you look at the stem, how thin it is. That's what, I mean, it's, it's that tall and it's got thin stems like this and for jigs, that's really good. I mean... It's not rank yet, but there's a lot of grass there to try to dry this time of year. Um, which I'm not gonna be drying this. I'm not gonna be able to get it dry. So that's why I kinda wanted to do this video. I wanted to show you my setup for my, uh, my uh, preserved sprayer. And actually I just made some, uh, I had to do some work to it and I'm gonna finish that work and talk to you about it. So let's, I'm gonna go do that. All right, I'm going to, I've got to put this tube, this is a pressure tube, because I, I now have a, uh, a uh, pressure gauge inside the tractor for my sprayer. So I've got to run it back to the pump, uh, this tube right here, which I've got, this is gonna go up mount on the rake, and then I've got spare tubing here uh, to go inside the tractor and through into the baler. So I think there's, there's 25 feet here. Doesn't look right, looks like a lot less than that more than that. I think I'm gonna start back here and just start striping it down like I have the rest of it. Up here I'm, I think I need to, I need to, I don't know why I never strap that up. Not exactly sure. But anyway, and I'll show you a few of the things. <clears throat> At least maybe you can do, you could actually make one of these pretty easy um i mean i pretty much have now uh the box portion may be the only uh where do i want to go with this i think i want to be back here i think i think i want to do i want to do that put a little loop in it maybe oh no maybe i don't want to do that my crease this thing. I shouldn't do that. Running through here, I, of course, I showed you. This came with the uh, with the deal, and I can show you what I did. Uh, I bought a new uh, what they call that? A uh, the thing that uh, controls controls it. It's uh, rig. Uh, I don't know what it is now. I can't remember the name of it. But anyway. Reestat. I think reestat switch is what I'm thinking. Yeah. I think I, want, I, think I do want to go all the way, way to there. And, and strap this down as far as you can. Do I put a loop in here? Should I do like, 
No. 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 You better not be filming. <laughs> You got to talk to yourself. All right. Let's put our connector. We're going to connect them. And these... Uh-oh. Don't do that, kids. So that's almost like a coupler. Yes? That's exactly what it is. Oh. It's a coupler. Are you making fun of me? Nah. I knew that would be, guys. Well, I mean, it's not PVC, so I didn't know if it had the same. You probably ought to stop talking. <laughs> They're going to wear you out on there. But you're telling me that that is PVC? Once again, I have no clue what you're talking about. I do need to go get me some, some tape, some electrical tape. Winnie spotted Winnie. me. Go on now. Go on, little dog. You can come up here, Winnie, because you'll be nice to me. <laughs> hmm. I think I need to change something here. I don't, I don't think I want, uh, no, I don't, I don't want it like that. I need it, I want it shorter. I want it to where I can tape it up. That clipped it good. Anyway, this, if you, uh, I'm kind of showing you how you can make one of these. You don't even need to go buy all this stuff. Because I think it's, I don't know, man. I think they're like two grand, 25. Some of them are even way more expensive because you got to use your iPad and stuff, which is cool. I mean, all that stuff's cool. But I'm telling you, if you just want to make one and, uh, you know, for, uh, I don't know the tank. I don't know how much um, you can make it for yourself. Pretty cheap, but because I don't know how much this uh, that variable rate uh, switch would cost. Uh, that's the only thing. The pump is like I think I paid a hundred for a really good pump. I'll go. I'll show you what I did back that way, and then the rest because originally uh, this was sold to me on a New Holland Baylor, uh, Baylor so it had a different, uh, and it, and it, it feeds from the side. I hope this doesn't leak. That's gonna be the problem with this. If it leaks inside, it's gonna be that, that stinky stuff. So. Oh. I mean, usually I don't have a problem with these leaking. Only, only time I've ever had a trouble with this leaking is when it's, it's real old and it's gotten brittle. You mean because of the harsh acidity of the, the product you're putting in there? Actually, it's not harsh. It's not. No, they say it's I mean, not. It's acid. Well, they say it's not harsh. I'm plat or well, it's not corrosive. Let's put it that way. What they say? Don't know if that's the truth or. So there we go. That's the way I'm gonna, that's the way I'm gonna do that. And then we can just pull this through there. How much I need. That thing just is. Could I have a cup? Uh, you know what? Uh, yeah, could I have one more zip tie? In the sweet John Deere. <laughs> 
and see originally this thing was tied on to this uh, and it had all that slack like 20 like 20 feet and uh, I guess it's I don't know what it's for <laughs> I guess to run to the power back to the yeah I could have left it all hooked up probably the tube and everything but it wasn't long enough it was only 20 feet I think and I've got like 40 40 or 45 feet with all the ups and downs and everything I figured before it got back to the pump. So <clears throat> I ended up chopping it here, just tying it into my power here. And I'll just, I got some extra tubing and I'm just going to run the tubing. There's no reason to run power back there. I have power right here. So, um, anyway, this box quit working. Um, it was, it was, it was bouncing. It was going from 30 down to zero, you know, 10, back to 25 down to zero it was bouncing and i i thought i noticed something wrong the last time we used it it just it didn't it wasn't spraying right so anyway i went ended up going to rimcor in Howe, texas and that's where i buy all my sprayer parts they're real good people there and uh he sold me this box here um and it has this plate back here and I just screwed this thing with some self tappers into the face of this box and mounted that onto the, the back of this box or onto this uh, mount. Since the mount was already there, I didn't want to make a whole new mount and change all that stuff. I just, so I just did it that way. Came out all right. Doesn't look too crazy, I don't think. But anyway, now I'm hooking up pressure tube and I want to, yeah, I don't know if I finished that. Nope. I'm a little, little leery of this because if it leaks or anything, yeah, this stinky stuff will get in here. But I, th I think everything will be fine. I'm going to run this stuff inside this to kind of protect it a little. I don't really even know it needs protection in here, but to be honest with you, I'm probably doing a bunch of stuff I don't need to do but that would never shock that wouldn't shock me but I got a bunch of this uh, little I guess it's quarter inch uh, whatever they call this stuff and I, I use it to protect wires like on the back of the baler they go from here back to the baler I'll show you that big old <laughs> that big mess back I got but I mean I got a lot of stuff hugged up. and I'll show you why I don't like pulling this tractor off this thing and I'll, sh I'll show you that in a minute All right, so really I, all you need to do is buy your tank, get your pump, half inch hose, a gauge, and a rheostat switch, and, you've, and, uh, the, and these things down here. Well, I'll show you, uh, I don't know if you can film on that side. Over there. I'll try to get I'll them point out. Out of here. Where you am I going? Right here, right there. Oh, you, wait. You can see I just got uh, some angle iron. Whoops. <laughs> 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 I just got some angle iron. I screwed a, I, uh, drilled a hole in it, uh, mounted a 90 degree uh, uh, tip holder, and put some point, uh, I think it's point oh oh five oh tips on it. And uh, yeah, it's, I made my own mount. Um, anyway, this thing's basically all, I could do this all by hand for like I said, less than 500 and I don't know what you pay now for a new one, 2,500, 30, I don't even know, they're, they're nuts. I know that. Uh, so I, you know, until I had absolutely have to, I'm not, I'm not. And I run in, in grass, anything below 16% moisture, you can run at 25 PSI. Uh, anything, well, I'd say at 16 to 15, I'd run 25 PSI and you know, 12, 13, 14, I'm running 20 PSI. And they've got these all these formulas and stuff about tonnage and blah, blah, blah. And that's about 16 beats a bell ish 14 beats a bell 14 to 16 beats a bell And uh, it's just, about, I've, I've been doing it long enough. I know exactly what I want to spray on it. And anyway, that's grass hay. I don't know. I mean, Bermuda grass. I don't know about anything else. I have no experience with anything else. So, so here I am on the bay. So I, I replaced this pump. This pump's new. 
because if you see this hay that's sitting out in the field, I will be spraying this hay. And the pump, since I was changing that rheostat up there, uh, well, I changed the pump first thinking it might be the pump, but I wanted a new pump anyway, because that other pump was, uh, I, don't know, I don't know, 13 or 14 years old. Long time, 07, 12, 12, 11 years. Was it seven? No, it was six when I got that. Anyway, whatever that is, 13 years. But anyway, that's, uh, you could do all that. And I mean, if somebody really wanted to do it, I could, I could, they could just, uh, you know, say it in the comments and I could tell them exactly what I've, uh, what I would do. All right, so that's in there. Now we need to, all I gotta do is tube from here to here and I'm done with the tube and we'll, we'll check it real quick. Real quick, because I don't like spraying this stuff. It's nasty. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna get kind of a, a guesstimate of what I want here. And then have to, have to do this. Like that, like that, like that, that'll be enough. Whoa. Oh. And get you about a thousand zip ties. Well, you won't have as many. If you look down that rake, you can see all them zip ties there, and that's only, that's not even all of them, so. Oh, watch out, wrong one. Tube. I'm on your dude. Oh yeah. I'd never let you get on that. <laughs> what a mess. Duncan! Let him outside for a little Really? Bit. It's muddy. Come on. Come on, Dunk. Let him outside and act like a fool. This thing's stuck in here now. What are you doing? Stop rolling in the mud. I'm just gonna have to thread it like I did the other one. <sighs> yeah. 